Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 9 of John chapter 1. This was the true light that coming into the world enlightens every person. Jesus was in the world, and the world came into being through Him, and yet the world did not know Him. He came to His own, and His own people did not accept Him. But as many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in His name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. In yesterday's devotion, we discussed the knowledge required to become a Christian. Now, let's look at the remaining elements of saving faith, conviction, and trust. Knowledge of Jesus must be accompanied by confidence that the facts apply to us personally. First, we must own the truth that I have broken God's law, and that makes me a sinner. Second, we acknowledge that none of our efforts can earn His favor. Third, we agree that Jesus died for each of us and paid for our sins, no matter how terrible the transgressions may be. Fourth, we believe that this payment for our wrongdoing is fully sufficient. Nothing else is needed. Finally, having agreed with God about our sin problem and His solution, we accept by faith that we've been adopted into God's family. The invitation is extended to all humanity. Once we're convinced these things are true and we've received Jesus as our Savior, trust is demonstrated through action. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, We are new creatures, and as such, we will have a fresh perspective and different values. Jesus, our Lord, now has authority over our life, and He alone deserves to be our highest priority. He knows what pleases the Heavenly Father and has sent the Holy Spirit to live in us and teach us. Have you trusted in Jesus for your sin to be forgiven? If not, you can ask Him right now.